it's funny. I looked down at my hate plate the other day, and it seemed pretty full. I didn't think I needed another serving, because I had a big plop of Bachman, and a big slice of Palin, and a little sliver of Angle. But, without asking me, somebody served up a massive double helping of Phyllis Schlafly. Something I've never liked, I didn't want, and I didn't need on my plate. But there she was, finding herself on a stage in front of a microphone, blabbing on and on about how the single women who voted for Barack Obama were single because they threw their husbands out, and we needed Barack Obama because we're too stupid and unskilled and untalented to actually get a job, so we had to live off the government. That's right. She made the analogy, A, that all single women who voted for Barack Obama are single because we threw husbands out, and B, that we literally can't do anything else except be married and have babies. Because as you'll remember, that was her big, her big through line, was that she was fighting for the right for women to stay home and be a wife and a mother. Because as we know, that right is being being taken away, being chipped away at in our society. In fact, I think there's a Supreme Court ruling uh, that, that's going to be coming down that's going to force women to not be wives and mothers. It's going to force them to go out and get jobs and have careers and uh, live full lives, um, which is a threat to all stay-at-home moms everywhere. So um, while you were uh, worrying about health care, that ugly, ugly precedent was being set. And you didn't even know it. So, so maybe I should thank Phyllis Schlafly for coming forward and, and reminding me that, um, that, that I have no skills and that um, I, I threw out my husband that I didn't even know I had and that I'm about to go on welfare. And, and you know, it's, it's insane to me that these conservative women that worship her don't even understand that if Phyllis Schlafly had her way, None of them could even go out in the workplace and spew their bile because she would want them home with the kids so the husband could go out and apparently spew their bile for them because they would be too unskilled and inarticulate to actually do that. Oh, wait, they are. But in closing, I just want to say, Phyllis Schlafly, we no longer need you anymore. For the simple fact, we now have madmen. And now, instead of getting into your time machine that is full of ugliness and setbackery, we can now tune on our TVs every Sunday night and get your same brand of sexism with a lot of style and a lot of Don Draper. And that's how we want it.